Hi, my name's Sarah Wood, co-founder and co-CEO of Unruly. People use their mobiles naturally uh, in portrait mode, in vertical mode. 98% of all mobile usage takes place in a, in a, in a vertical portrait mode. Um, but what we're seeing really changing is the amount of video that people are watching on mobile. Uh, so now 45% of all video views take place on mobile. Uh, and once brands see consumers are there, they want to come along too. They want to capture their audience where they are, where they're actually watching, sharing, consuming video content. We're launching our vertical video ad format today. We're really excited to be doing that. Uh, we're doing it in partnership with The Sun and The New York Post. Um, and we are also in partnership with Moat, who are helping to ensure that our format is viewable. So important. Uh, and why are we launching it now? Well, we want to give users an experience that is more natural, more intuitive. We want to give brands a format that is really high impact. Uh, and we want to help publishers shrink that monetization gap. 70, 80% of viewers now come in on mobile. Uh, and for, for publishers, it's important to be able to monetize that content and to do that using premium video ad formats. For me, the most interesting finding um, when we conducted the survey was learning that around three quarters of viewers will just stop watching an ad if it starts playing with the sound on. Um, that has huge implications for brands who are thinking about creating content for mobile and for a vertical video experience. Uh, users don't like to be forced into watching ads. They certainly don't like to have the sound blaring out. Uh, and what that told us as we were developing our format was that yes, there is a huge mobile opportunity for brands, but there's also a threat. The threat is that brands in the race to engage with consumers alienate the very consumers that they're trying to engage. Uh, and that's why we're launching our format today because it's polite, it's user friendly, um, the content loads before the ad, users can scroll past if they want or activate sound themselves. So our format really puts the user in control whilst at the same time giving brands a blank canvas to create awesome content that can engage more authentically, more intimately with their mobile viewership. So here are some top tips for brands who want to experiment with creating uh, video for mobile. Um, so the first thing is to think vertical. This is how consumers are watching video and how they want to be watching video. So you'll be able to create a much more intimate, authentic connection uh, if you use the vertical format. Uh, my second tip is to work with creators who are digital natives and who speak vertical fluently. Um, and that's the reason that we've launched the Vertical Video Collective today, which brings brands together with a whole group of young, fresh, up and coming video makers um, who live for mobile video um, and vertical video is second nature to them. And then finally, I would say think like a consumer. Uh, we see lots of ads being created for mobile um, by agencies, which are then tested and looked at and evaluated in a desktop environment. So if you're creating for mobile, as much as you can, do the build, do the testing, do the evaluation on mobile, and only then will you get a true sense of what it is your customer, your consumer, your viewer is genuinely experiencing when they themselves see that ad. Ad blocking is going to be a huge challenge for mobile advertisers going forward because first of all, individual consumers can opt out if they don't like the sound of the ad. We know three quarters of them just stop watching if the ad plays with sound on because they don't like that. Then they can block at a browser level. They can block at a carrier level, a device level. There's so many different ways that we see um, ads getting blocked from mobile devices. So that's why it's more important than on any other device for brands to think really carefully about how they're going to genuinely engage their audiences and create a non-interruptive, non-intrusive experience um, that viewers really want to watch and share. We've got lots going on at Cannes this year. Um, we are welcoming brands and advertisers to our Future Video Lab here on the yacht. Uh, we also have an Unruly X Future Video Lab over at the Carlton where we're uh, working and talking to lots of our programmatic partners and publishers, helping publishers to make sure they maximise the opportunity of premium video formats. Uh, but I think my favourite activation is what we're doing uh, just on the Quasette, uh, which is where we have a pop-up emoji wall. Uh, and we are inviting passers-by to tell us how they feel. It's a bit of an experiment. So we are seeing um, whether the mood of can is hungover, whether it is <gasps> inspired, whether it's surprised, <laughs> or whether it's happy. Uh, and it's early days yet, but from what I could see earlier on this morning, uh, the dominant mood of Cannes was definitely happy. So I would say Cannes is a happy place to be today. But let's see how everybody's feeling tomorrow morning, because that might be a different story. <laughs>